with Jenna and Jeremy. In August 2020, we bought an RV. In September 2020, we sold everything and hit the road full time. Follow our adventures as we explore more of our incredible planet Earth. Don't forget to press that subscribe button and turn on post notifications for weekly travel videos. You can find us on Instagram at Quench Your Adventure. Now on to the good, good stuff. After some memorable adventures in Texas, which we made a video about, we continued north into New Mexico. First on the list is the Black River Recreation Area. We were enjoying a free campground nearby for a few days while working and waiting for our reserve day to visit the Carlsbad Caverns. This recreation area is quiet, peaceful, and full of life. It's a nice oasis among this rugged desert. Up next, we have Carlsbad Caverns National Park. We didn't know until some friends told us that the self-guided walk through the caverns is by reservation now, and in April of 2021, it was a few days before anything was available. We entered the park the day before to explore the rest. It's a really cool drive, and there's a few nice trails to go explore as well. We got to see more Barbary sheep, which we first experienced in the Davis Mountains of Texas. They're not native here, but it feels like they belong and are really cool to see. The caverns themselves are wicked. I can't imagine being the first person to discover a place like this. You drive up the mountain knowing there are miles of caverns underneath. The walk down into the cavern is so interesting with the cave swallows zooming around and the feeling of just walking down into the earth. Here we're at the natural opening and checking out this sign. This is insane. We're about to drop 75 stories, nearly equivalent to the Empire State Building. Just a few minutes in after the first main turn and the natural light no longer makes its way down here. And after you've made your way 750 feet down into the caverns, there's an elevator conveniently waiting to boost you back up. Heading west, we ditched the heat as we climbed way up in elevation for a nice hike in the Lincoln National Forest. What a welcome change of scenery with big trees and green mountains. The popular hike here is to the Mexican Canyon Trestle, two to three miles depending on which trails you take and definitely worthwhile. The reviews from a week ago said it might be a little slick from melting snow, muddy, icy. I kind of just assumed it would have been melted since it's been pretty dry and warm, but this is very different from where we were in Carlsbad. Back down the mountains on the west side of Lincoln National Forest, we have a completely different destination, White Sands National Park. Amazing the diversity here in New Mexico within just a couple hours. I've never seen a landscape quite like White Sands, and to be there in the morning in April was really nice. The slight chill in the air was overcome by the warm sunshine and clear blue skies. There are a few legitimate hikes here. Aside from the few boardwalks, it's all sand though, and you definitely have to mind whatever trail markers that are there because everything tends to look the same and there's no real trail. There's also no trees, so you're completely out in the elements. Sledding down the dunes is very popular and we felt fortunate to snag some sleds from the visitor center, but we quickly learned how slow they were. Some locals noticed our anticlimactic sledding attempts and offered us their homemade sleds made from thin sheets of, I think, finished particle board that they greased up, tied rope handles to, and put little butt pads on. Check it out. <laughs> oh my, you look so scared. <laughs> oh my. White Sands definitely makes for some very cool photo opportunities. I should note that it's early April at this point and we were itching to make it to Colorado to go skiing, so we passed up what seemed to be some really cool locations in New Mexico that I will shout out at the end of the video. A few hours north of White Sands, we have the largest city in New Mexico, Albuquerque. We're fans of the show Breaking Bad, which was filmed here, so we took a little self-guided tour to see some of the filming locations. We're in Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> Jeremy and I watched the Breaking Bad series a couple years ago, and we totally loved it. We thought it was super awesome and crazy. Yeah, but right now we're sitting outside of Twisters, is what they call it, but it's Pollos Hermanos. It's Dos right. Pollos Hermanos. But yeah, we're going to go explore all of the Breaking Bad locations that we can track down. We're going to go check out 
the restaurant where Gus Spring mm -hmm. did all the bad stuff. And, and then, laundered money. And then we're going to go to the car wash where Walt and his wife bought one. And then we're going to go to Walter White's house. The Cibola National Forest is 1.6 million acres of trees, meadows, and rugged mountains just northeast of Albuquerque. It's a great spot to escape the city for a nice hike. Three hours northwest and we have our next stop, the Bisti Badlands, also known as the De Nazin Wilderness Area. This place is really fascinating and was so quiet. There's not much out here besides these strange rock formations and plenty of dirt roads. We explored the western section of these badlands and hiked a few miles along the Bisti Wings Trail, trying to use the All Trails app to avoid getting lost out here. We made a longer video about the Bisti Badlands and our next stop, Shiprock, that you can check out here. Shiprock has to be the most interesting rock formation I've ever flown the drone around. You have this incredible fin-like wall of rock jetting up from the otherwise flat land. Then the massive Monadnock formation rising nearly 1,600 feet above the high desert plain. Shiprock is also known as the Rock with Wings. Definitely worth a visit. So that's a wrap on the places that we did visit, but if we had more time, here is a list of other places that we would have loved to explore. All right, that's it for New Mexico. What a fun state. If you guys liked the video, hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you have one. We'd love to hear from you. Peace. Peace.